I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hey guys, I am uh, out in the Mendenhall Wetlands, uh, which is a uh, one of the largest large estuaries we have here, part of the uh, from the melting of the Mendenhall Glacier. Um, but there's patches of trees, and I'm actually in the middle of one of the patches of trees out here. I'll show you a photo at the end of this. Um, but I'm in the spot I call the Lichen Gardens, and um, you know, most people think of lichens. If you know what a lichen is. Um, which it's a symbiotic relationship uh, between an algae and a fungus uh, that form these pretty unique uh, growths. And um, one of the things about a lot of lichen species is that they're very slow growing, kind of like corals in the ocean. You know, they grow really, really slowly, and they're very fragile. Um, you know, if you if they get crushed, they're not very flexible. They they're brittle, and um, so for large lichen growths, it usually takes a spot that's been relatively undisturbed for a long time, and this happens to be one of those spots. Um, I'm not sure how these things survive the snow, um, but they must, because again, these are huge. In fact, I saw some of the same growths, I, specific growths that I had seen last year when I was out here. I'm going to pan this around here to show you what I'm talking about, and uh, most of the of these are the, takes a really good photos to see. Hold on here. So, so if you look here, those tufts that you see in the background, like gray tufts and greenish yellow tufts and brown tufts, are all different kinds of lichen, um, different species. Uh, there's a lot of them are the genus Clodina and also Clodonia. Clodonia is the uh, um, reindeer mosses. Or is that Clodina? Oh, well. No, yeah, Clodina is the reindeer mosses. Cladonia are the ones they call different uh, matchstick lichens and such like that. Um, but anyway, uh, I came out here last year with a uh, bryologist, um, somebody who studies mosses, because there's also tons and tons of moss species out here. Um, it's really, really interesting. But the um, I came out here with a bryologist, but she also sort of acts as a uh, you know generic botanist for identifying local species. Um, and she was amazed, and she estimated that there were minimally 40 different species of lichen growing here, um, and most of which she either hadn't seen before or had never seen such large, undisturbed growths of them. So this spot's really kind of an amazing thing to see. And I, I know the video is not going to capture uh, how really, really amazing this is. Um, the mosses, I, I, I have lots and lots of photos I've taken already since I got here. I've been photographing like crazy. Um, and I'll do a continuation of this with a uh, just some pictures, some of the species that have been identified, that I've identified, and that uh, my friend has identified. And a whole bunch of them that I have no idea what they are. I don't have the uh, resources to necessarily um, identify these. So I will see you back at my home. Uh, thank you, and... I'll see you in a bit. All right. Now, I'm, now here are some pictures I took today. I'm not going to necessarily go through all of these and narrate the details of them. Um, they're just pictures of the lichens that I took. Um, there's there's some close-ups so you can really kind of appreciate how pretty, really beautiful these things are. Um, sometimes you have to really get down and look close to see... Uh, how amazing these these things and um it's just some of the growths I've, I've taken i got pictures of lichens in here and um also I, I other things that were out on the wetlands today these are all pictures i took today i use the uh the uh, pentax optio w10 it's actually my underwater camera i use for these photos and it does just great macro um, so anyway, I I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, not nah, not much to say. Just oh, pretty pictures. A um, couple of things. Got some wildflowers. Great picture of a bumblebee that landed on a lupin nearby, which I thought was pretty cool. He actually let me get 
or she, let me get very, very close. And I also saw a flower spider um, with no flower, just sitting on a leaf. This is a flower fly. And some mosses, uh, just, you know, try and tell us Arctica. Star flower is what it's called. Some more lichens, of course. I took lots and lots and lots of lichen pictures. Anyway, um, it's just a, it's a, it's just an incredible place, and um, you know we we really took care when we went out there. We we walked around the actual lichen gardens themselves and tried to you know avoid because you don't want to. It's so delicate and so ancient. You know these are these, this this could be decades old. Um, some of these growths, and I really did not want to step on anything um, and destroy anything. So we, you know, we we took a great care to kind of um, preserve the spot, and um, you know, I very very carefully approached to get pictures of these different things.